I would like everyone to go to Galatians chapter 6. I mean, we can hang in Galatians all day long. So this morning, the Lord took me to Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. And I'm going to start, and I'm going to work my way backwards like he, like he ran me this morning. So good luck on keeping up those that are in the display corner. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you now, good luck keeping up. So the very first verse he came to this morning, I said, let us not be weary in well-doing. And that's where he paused me for a split second. I mean, how many of us, I know we've had this conversation, how many of us have felt weary in well-doing? You're doing all the right things, you're, you're following the Lord, you're reading scripture, you're doing all the stuff, and, at the, and you're like, dude, I still feel like I'm just like dragging through this thing, and it's like feeling weary in well-doing, and it's like, okay. And so that means if, if the Lord's talking to us about it, he understands. He understands. There were times in Scripture that Jesus said, listen, I got to get on a boat and I got to chill out for a little bit. And I'm sure he was tempted with being weary in well-doing because he had to go get on a boat and just rest. Till the storm came up, the disciples couldn't figure out how to talk to a storm properly. He's like, dude, come on. I'm chilling here. You speak to the storm. So the Lord understands, but he said, let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. I've got a shirt that I would have worn it, and it says, you may see me struggle, you may see me fall on my face, you may see me have a hard day kind of thing, but I will not quit. Here's the thing. If I can, if, if you were to, title this, Murph, because I know you're going to do it. No matter what, here's the thing. Do not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we will reap everything that we've sowed in everyone's life, in our own life, in our relationships, and everything else. We'll reap everything what we've sown in if we don't quit. There's your thing. If we faint not. If we keep moving forward. Now here's where I have to jump to another scripture and you don't have to go to it. But I can do all things through my own strength and abilities. Wrong translation. See, if we do it all on our own strength, you're going to faint. Keep up with me. If we're sitting there trying to do all the reaping and all this, I mean, all the sowing and all putting stuff into things, people's lives under our own strength and not allowing God to give us the strength and wisdom underneath who he is, then we will faint. But I can do all things through who? Christ, who strengthens me. 